Did you get a chance to watch my video? And don't forget to follow Tina on her two Instagrams. What are they? Uh, Teeny Tina with three A's at the end. You know what? Extra. Maybe she'll be over here. Is that what you YouTubers say? Yes. And then <laughs> um, the other one is Telia's Treats. It's my baking Instagram. And she'll put that somewhere. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> yes, I will be putting them there so you guys can definitely follow her. <laughs> Uh, she is a character. I'm gonna have a YouTube soon, too. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Don't forget to watch her YouTube, because if you want to see more of this... Okay. I crack myself up clearly. I probably find myself more funny than anybody does, really. Are you legit crying right now? Yeah. I'm funny. <laughs> god, right. There's something poking my eyeball. Totally I think that's just karma, probably. Tell me to stop being a Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ariel Artistry here, and today I have my friend Tina here. I did this beautiful blue, smoky, colorful eye on her. Bright. Yes, very bright. And I added a little bit of glitter in the middle just to kind of pop it out. And yeah, she... Have you ever high colored eyes before? Not really, no, because I'm a baker. Oh, yeah, follow Te Telia's Treats. So yeah, I did her makeup, and for my makeup, I did this um, inspired by Milk, um, I think it's like 14, 18, 12? I'll mm -hmm. put it here somewhere, so you guys can uh, follow her, because she has really inspiring face charts, and everybody recreates her looks, and it's just very inspiring for a makeup artist. So yeah, if you want to see how to do someone makeup like this, or you want your makeup like this, just keep watching. Bye. Go and follow me. Yes, don't forget to follow Tina. Um, Tina, Tina. I'm going to put her Instagram um, down below in the description box and right here just so you guys can follow her and see her amazing treats. Yeah. Yes. Peace! Hey guys, so let's get started. The first thing that I always do with a client, I always brush up their brows just to see what brow shape I'm working with. And then I'm going to go in with a dark powder with this angled MAC brush just to fill in any sparse areas and to define her brows a little bit more I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia brow pencil and this is in dark brown and after that I'm going to be using some concealer just to clean up under her brows and I'm going to be using um, Tarte Shape Tape. I put the shape tape on a flat brush and then I go in and blend that out. And now I'm going in with Mac Painterly with a flat synthetic brush and I'm just putting that all over her lid just to prep for the eyeshadow. With the primer you really want to get the whole entire lid area including under the brow just because you're going to work with all of this space. And what I'm doing now is I'm blending out the painterly with a dual fiber brush. As I always do with the client, I always start off with MAC Soft Brown as a transition color. So I'm just taking this on a MAC 224 brush. As always, I'm working in circular motions, really getting that eyeshadow right in the crease area. And I lift the brow just to work with more space, because um, if, if you see when I put the brow down, uh, I can't really get into those nooks and crannies of the eye. So once you lift the brow, it kind of just stretches up uh, the crease and the eye area so you have more space to work with. So the first bright color I'm starting off with is a beautiful cobalt blue shade and this is Neptune by Makeup Geek. It's so gorgeous in person and on camera as you can see. And I'm just putting that on um, a MAC 224 brush and just blending it where I put the transition color and I go back and forth with the 217 and the 224 brushes just to make sure that it's really blended out and it looks nice and blown out and there's no harsh lines.
Now I'm going in with a small definer crease brush and this is the Crown C528 brush and I'm taking a new color. This is also by Makeup Geek. This is Duchess and this is a nice matte royal purple. And I'm really just defining that crease. And now it's time to cut that crease, honey. We're gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape again, um, what I used on the brow. And I'm gonna put the color down below. And yeah, this is just gonna really define the crease. And I'm using a flat shader brush again. And this was a crown chisel fluff brush. And honestly, I don't know why I use this brush because it just made it so difficult to apply. <laughs> so I'm using a C510 brush to apply Swimming Pool by Sephora. Hopefully that shade is still available. If not, I will find something similar in the bottom bar. But yeah, when applying colors like this, especially vivid colors, you kind of want to use a synthetic flat brush instead of uh, the brush that I'm using. Now I'm going back in with that MAC 217 brush and just really making sure that the two colors blend together. And this has no additional product on it. It just has like the leftover um, duchess that I have on it. So I'm cracking up because Tina saw her face and she's like, what the hell? Don't worry, girl. You are going to look cute. We're going to fix you. So to make the look stand out a little bit more, I did take um, a glitter that I used by MAC and it is a, one of those soft serve shadows that they came out with. Unfortunately, it is discontinued, but like I said, I'll have everything that's similar to it in the bottom bar. And they did just come out with new liquid eyeshadows. So I'll definitely put that in the bottom bar for you guys because they are honestly the best thing ever. To have Tina looking a little bit normal now, I'm gonna be taking a makeup wipe and this is a simple one that I use and I'm just gonna be cleaning up under her eye. And clearly my girl is feeling a lot better now. Now I'm gonna pop on some lashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. I use these on all of my clients because it's natural but you can still see that you have some lashes on. So now I'm going in with an angled brush and some gel eyeliner and I'm just going under her lash just to tight line and make sure that there's no space between the fake lash and her real lash. So it all looks like one big old story. To pop the inner corner, I'm gonna be using Bella Pierre Cosmetics and this is in a loose pigment, pigment in the color Excite. Um, it's really nice and it has like a purple green reflex to it. So I thought it'd be perfect for the inner corner. To prep her skin, I'm going to be going in with the Fersali Unicorn Essence Oil. And this made her skin feel so nice and soft. And I actually never used this before. This is hers. So I'm definitely going to cop this for myself because it just made the foundation slide on so nicely. And to blend out the side of her eye, I'm using a 287 brush, which is a dual fiber brush. It's a little bit smaller and that's gonna help diffuse the look instead of having that sharp, crisp line. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty, and to apply it, I'm gonna be using a MAC 159 brush, and this is just another dual fiber brush, but just a little bit smaller than the crown brush I used before. Now I'm using the Becca Under Eye Corrector, and this stuff is literally bomb. And this is in the shade light to medium. If you don't know about my giveaway, go to um, my video. I'm going to put it up here, like the little card. So you can click on that because I am giving this away along with two other things. So click on that video, watch it to the end. I'll tell you the rules and all that good jazz so you can possibly win. And I put the shape tape right on top of the corrector and I'm blending it out with both of these duo fiber brushes. And since she has the Fenty on um, and she doesn't have oily skin, I didn't want to set her with another heavy powder. So I did take the Hydra Mist powder by Becca and this powder is crazy. The technology is insane. So it's a hydrating powder that keeps you matte and it has a cooling effect. I know you're like, girl, what? But it's honestly amazing. It's something I have never seen before. So I wanted her to just try it and feel the cooling effect. So I'm taking a MAC 168, I think that's what it is. The number is faded, um, but I'm just taking that. It's an angled brush. I'm taking that with a bronzer just to warm up her face. 
And for bronzer, remember the three E rule. Um, as you can see, I'm doing the top of her forehead, the side of her cheek where her contour is, and underneath her jawline. So that's the three E rule, just so you guys know. And still with the same brush, I just flipped it to the other side. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Amrezy highlight, and I kick myself for not getting this highlight because it is so nice. Like you'll see her beaming through the camera. I see you girl checking yourself out. So I just put it at the top of her cheekbones, um, on her nose, on the top of her forehead, and on her cubic spell. And as you know, I always go back in with a foundation brush just to blend it all together so it looks like it's coming from within. And now I'm taking that swimming pool eyeshadow with a definer brush and I'm just putting it underneath her eye. And this is gonna go more to the center of her eye to the inner corner and then we'll be taking Duchess and Neptune and be putting it on the outer corner. And just to make it a little more smoked out so there's no harsh lines, I'm taking another 217 brush and just blending out the bottom. Now I'm taking this nude pencil by NARS and I'm putting it in her waterline. I didn't want to put black because I didn't want it to look too harsh. So nude is a great alternative if you want that more bright eyed look. And now I'm just taking mascara to put on her bottom lashes. And just wait for it. I like this is something. No! Damn it. Hello? So as you can see, I dropped the camera. <laughs> Don't worry, the camera's okay, but the outro didn't come out as planned. So I do have some glimpse of what her makeup looks like, but I will insert some pictures so you guys can really see what it looks like. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. If you do like videos like this, comment down below, and I will keep giving them to you. You guys know that. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you guys can get an alert when I upload new videos. It's usually every Thursday, but you never know. I could surprise you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.